What up you guys, Keith Carnes here. The following shout out is to Salty Stuff Corillo. Hope I'm saying that uh, second part <laughs> right. Salty Stuff, I like that man. I love salt. It's probably a, a bad thing, but I do. I love it. Anyway, I told you I'd give you a shout out, so there you go. Hope you enjoy the episode, and whoever else is watching, hope you enjoy the episode as well. Without further ado, episode 23 of Is It Real starts right now. Peace. Hey, what's going on, you guys? Heath Carnes here, bringing you the 23rd episode in my Is It Real series. This time we're talking about one of the most odd, um, I guess you could say, rumors, uh, urban legends out there, and definitely one of the most odd ones we've ever covered in this series. This is episode 23 talking about Walt Disney being frozen. That's right, Walt Disney who created Disney, uh, only one of the biggest companies in the world who recently purchased Lucasfilms, therefore now the owners of Star Wars, uh, some people believe that Walt Disney himself is frozen and they are working on bringing him back to life. That's right. Uh, you hear me right. I'm not kidding. This is a real life, um, this is a real life theory uh, well, not theory, I'm sorry, but this is a real life, you know, rumor is the best way I can describe it, that people actually, some people actually believe it's true. Um, you know, in this, in this crazy series, which I love doing, it's my favorite, I always go over my opinion on these and we'll do it, you know, uh, by the book, if you will. Uh, Walt Disney was you know, the creator of one of the biggest uh, companies in the world today, you know, uh, Disney, Walt Disney Pictures, very well, very well known for countless cult classic movies, um, definitely have, a, you know, Disney definitely has a strong um, presence in my personal childhood. Um, and, and some of my favorite movies came from Disney and Disney continues to power out you know great movies however we're not here to talk about <laughs> what, what Disney as a company has done since Walt Disney created uh, since Walt Disney created um, the phenomena that is Disney but we're here to talk about Mr. Walt Disney himself in the terms of him supposedly being frozen. Um, now this urban legend has been around for a long time obviously as Disney's been dead for a long time. And it was said that Disney requested to have himself frozen and kept, you know, his body kept frozen until they come out with the technology to be able to bring people back from the dead regardless of the amount of time that the person has been dead now of course most normal people like myself and assuming you're normal you're no normal the viewer uh, you um, we obviously would imagine this is bullshit and that there is no way that it's possible but others don't and some people really believe is uh, he's been frozen um, in, in hopes that he can be brought back to life, which would actually, um, I guess you, you know, in a, in a sense would, uh, you know, collide with, uh, a belief in the afterlife. Now, um, as far as what <laughs> I think about this whole thing is, I think it's insane. I think it's a, one of the most off the wall, out of the blue, uh, <laughs> Uh, urban legends I've ever heard. I think it's um, definitely for me uh, it, it's really a no-brainer. I, I don't think it takes I don't think it really takes that much thought process in it. You know so one typically has to ask oneself exactly where does reality separate from you know fantasy and I really think that people that believe, I mean truly honestly believe Walt Disney could at least be frozen somewhere and at least be brought to life, brought back to life, um, 
in the at least distant future. Um, I think it's just people with hopeful thinking, you know, they want some of the greatest people of all time to be able to come back, you know, there's plenty of people out there that want uh, the late Elvis Presley, uh, Ronnie James Dio, um, Michael Jackson, Princess Diana, uh, etc. You know, I mean, it, the, the list goes on, you know, you could have a, a huge fucking roster of people that, you know, people would want to have come back if the p possibility of resurrection was possible. <clears throat> that was an ugly burp. Eh, that was a creepy burp. Anyway, um, you know, uh, you have, you know, separating reality from <laughs> fantasy is really what comes into play here. And Walt Disney being frozen, um, that's not what's hard to believe. What's crazy is why he would be frozen. Um, and that's because people think he's frozen because he wants to be resurrected. And do I think that Disney himself actually requested that and would actually think that? Absolutely not. <laughs> I mean, we're not talking about some delusional guy here. We're talking about Disney. Uh, you know, a guy that had almost endless creativity in his mind, created one of the most iconic characters of all time, Mickey Mouse. You know, we're not talking about a guy that was, you know, delusional and out of his mind. So, I, I think it goes a lot further than just, you know, saying, yeah, freeze me and then bring me back to life. So, the final, absolute final, uh, opinion of mine on this, I think, should be fairly obvious and self-explanatory. I don't believe Walt Disney was frozen, but mostly I don't believe that if he was frozen, I don't believe it was for <laughs> a hope of being resurrected in the future. I don't think that somebody with the mind of Disney would honestly believe in something that false and that um, improbable. But, hey, Everybody has their own opinion, and if you feel differently, don't be shy to share it in the comments below. Uh, this is the Keith Carnes. Hope you enjoyed this uh, kind of a silly, sillier um, episode of Is It Real? And I will see you guys in the um, I will see you guys in the next episode, um, episode 24, coming whenever. And uh, that's about it. So this is the Keith Carnes. Peace.